G'day, I am Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at OAuth and Twitter. Um, this is not going to be particularly in-depth, we're just going to get as far as um, using the REST app, uh, REST debugger. So in Tools, bring up the REST debugger. And this allows us to uh, test our authentication and stuff and generate some components for us to use. So if I go to the actually let's go to the developer.twitter.com so we, we start here and if we go to the API reference here's a list of um, methods so I'm going to get my user timeline and I'm going to start by copying this half of the URL and I'm going to check that in there and then in parameters I'm going to grab the method we want and we could add, add a number of parameters if we wanted to specify the user ID and, and so forth so we could add user ID and so on user underscore ID um, if, if we wanted to, but uh, all these parameters are optional, uh, so I'm going to ignore them. Okay, what we need to do is authenticate with Twitter, and to do that we use OAuth. So a lot of a lot of sites use either uh, OAuth or OAuth2. So I think Google and Facebook use OAuth2. Twitter's using OAuth, and we will use the OAuth assistant. Now, what we need to do is create an application in the um, Twitter developer uh, stuff. So I've already done that. So basically you just go create app and then you specify, just fill in the details. I don't think anything anyone actually uh, physically checks um, these. So um, you just need to fill in something, something reasonable. But we'll go into my existing application that I created. And actually, I don't know how HTTPS working on my website, but anyway, what I'm interested in here is the keys and tokens. Now these need to get secret, so I'll be changing these. I'll be regenerating them once this video is finished recording. So I'm going to copy the API key, and that goes into the client ID and the API secret, and the client secret, and then we specify these endpoints. So we go over to the docs, and let's go back. And we're interested in the authentication uh, aspect. So, uh, first one we need is authorize. So, let's take that and copy it into the. Oops. Let's try that again. Copy that there. Uh, then we need an access token endpoint. And a request token endpoint. Okay, and from that we can get a request token. Now, depending on how you're going to be using this application, will depend on how you distribute things. Um, these will need to be encrypted within your application. You don't want to go uh, anyone seeing those because if they have that, they can uh, impersonate your application and send tweets, that kind of thing. Um, if I get a, get, do a get request token, get authorize app, take that and copy it into there. And then we can get our access token. And with the access token, we can actually do stuff. Now, basically, this is this was um, uh, my Twitter account. So uh, my Twitter account has now authorized the Alistair Christie Twitter application to uh, send tweets. And then to be able, well, we're not going to be sending a tweet, but we're going to be looking at the timeline. We also need an access token to actually be authorized. That's the final step. Um, if if you're distributing this application to end users, uh, you'd only supply sort of this top half, and this bottom half would be all generated from within your application. 
but I have this going to be my, my next task is to work out how to do that in Delphi. But that's fine. Let's apply that. And we should now be able to send our request and be authorized. So we can see it was all good. Uh, we got a 200 response, which is positive. We get a bunch of JSON returned. And we can look at that in tabular form. And we can see um, here is some of my tweets, of which I have a grand total of four. As you can see, I'm not very active on Twitter. So from here, we can do copy components. Now, if we're on the tabular data tab, we'll see we get an FDMM table and a data set adapter. But if we're on something else, we just get the rest components. And I do want to put this into a grid, so we'll go to copy components like that. And back to Delphi. We'll create a new multi-device application. Blank is good. Uh, paste those components. And let's just uh, align their left sides and space them equally. I could bring it a little bit further, actually. So that's nice and tidy. And from there, uh, let's go and uh, FTMM table and look at uh, binding visually. And we can see we've got no fields on there currently, but if we go to our REST request and go execute, we get a uh, 200 response, okay. And we see now we've now got a whole heap of fields. And so I'm just gonna right click and go link to new control and string grid is just fine. And I'm just gonna align that to client. And we can see the uh, list of tweets. But if we run that at the moment, that's gonna have nothing uh, at runtime. So what we do need to do is write a line of code. So I'm gonna throw a button on and just align that button to top. And I'll even call it and text. Oops. Execute. Make it nice and large. Sounds uh, very ominous. So we go for, to our REST request. Execute. And I could probably do that on the form create if I so wanted to, if I wanted to do without the button. But Execute. And there's our, oh, my tweets. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. OAuth is it's quite complicated to get going and quite confusing. Um, there's some documentation around. Um, I hope this is enough to get you started at least talking to Twitter, uh, which has been sort of the easiest one. Uh, it's the first one I've managed to get going so far. Um, I, have, I have done OAuth with a website called TradeMe, and I used and this was quite a few years ago, and I used um, the TMS um, web components, well, web, um, whatever they are anyway. Uh, I did a descended class or descended component from their base class uh, to talk to TradeMe, and that worked fairly well. Uh, I originally had written my own OAuth implementation, and I just had the only only implemented Git, and that worked quite well until I needed to uh, start updating data on the on that website rather than just uh, scraping it. And um, uh, yeah, I didn't want to have to go through writing a complete OAuth implementation, so I yeah just you know bought some components, which is way cheaper than spending my time. But uh, now there's also this um, REST client, uh, REST request, and all, all this kind of stuff in Delphi, which makes it uh, fairly easy. Well, easier. It's still non-trivial to sign up. Uh, the The process for creating your uh, application uh, can be quite onerous. Um, but um, it's, it's usually fairly straightforward, uh, and hopefully I'll have some videos on other OAuth implementations, and also uh, a bit more on Twitter, and we'll look at um, 
taking some of those um, properties, getting these details at runtime rather than putting them at design time because I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to distribute this application because this now uh, is effectively this application. Uh, all it can do is look at my list, or who, who the, yes, my, my list of, um, of, of tweets or my timeline. But anyway, that's all I want to show you. I hope you found this slightly informative uh, and hopefully it'll get you started on using AWARTH in Delphi. Um, there is, you can also do, if I go cancel on that, uh, it's also OAuth 2, but and that has a slightly different set of parameters. But anyway, thanks for watching.